hello everyone welcome back to my channel here is my little art journal that we created and by now you have seen the video now we're going to create the chunky charm that will hang from the edge here i love the way this turned out i think it turned out fabulous i could have not planned it better and it's just so adorable and i'll be able to put this in my purse whenever I'm on the road or going somewhere to an appointment and I can just pull it out and with my little uh, pouch take all my little gelatos and crayons and just work on my journal and I just love the textures that we got from both the gesso the embossing powders from Seth Epter's collection which were the patina oxide and the vintage beeswax uh, the uh, stamps that he carries I use several of them the beeswax that I melted on top of the wax and the tissue paper all that along with the Mod Podge gave this a really nice look look at that look at all those textures that we got and these little uh, transparent butterflies are from Tim Holtz and I don't think they make them anymore but I know that Young Sue gifted me that and so I thought this would add to the charm in fact I love butterflies I am fascinated by butterflies the tissue paper had some butterflies so I wanted to kind of bring back some of that because the tissue paper gave it the background of the scripts and there are some uh, butterflies and flowers down here but it just gave that uniqueness that I love and I think that butterflies is a sign of peace so I just love 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 the chocotor pace worked like a charm look at that it popped out beautifully so you don't have to use the chocotor paste just for um, doing home decor you can do it for your artwork as well so it turned out really nice I love the way it turned out so the mixtures of embossing and Mod Podge and all the beeswax and the ceiling and textures just gave my little art journal a beautiful look to it and I love it so what we're creating today is a chunky charm and this is something that's going to be mix match beads uh, I have mixed these are eyelet um, eye pins on eyelet eye pins and they don't match the chain that I have but that's okay because we're mixing we're we're finding little scraps of things here and there and I went through my stuff and this is stuff that I have been given to me by um, and I might I might be able to use this chain so I might use this chain um, by Linda Gunn who is from Iceland and she had sent me this a couple years ago and my daughter loved creating cute little things with the stuff that she would send so I grabbed some stuff that she had along with this little uh, it's a bracelet elastic bracelet and the beads are starting to wear out because they're plastic but I love that look because it's an art journal guys and it's almost like junky but beautiful because it's art and it's just mixed with all kinds of beautiful things so I am just going to grab some eye pins my round nose plier my flat nose pliers and my wire cutter I'm going to use some jump jump rings and I have two sizes I have this bigger size and again they don't match they're all different you know this is um, silver plated but you know what it's what I have here and it's what we're gonna work with I, it doesn't matter to me because it's what I have right I'm gonna go ahead and recycle this little black chain because recycling is what we're all about so I'm just gonna oh and I have my little um, ornament rack here that I had purchased a couple years ago and it has a story that that ornament rack was supposed to go to with a box of stuff to the Goodwill and for some reason we just never got around to it um, I guess God didn't want us to take it to the Goodwill you know and it just kind of drove around and drove around in uh, my daughter's car who my son now drives and I'm kind of liking that little flow there so we might just go with that flow see how that is it's a necklace that Linda set so we might go with that and I'm just just gonna trim some of this here because I love the funkiness of that 
so that's what we're going to do. I have a claw lobster, lobster claw here. And these were 50% off at Joann's. So I just kind of used the 50% and the 25 that I had. Took advantage of that. I'm going to go ahead and slip this little lobster claw. We're going to make this really quick, but technically speaking, I had done a video tutorial on how to do a chunky charm a couple years ago. And it's really simple, but we're just going to cheat a little here. We are, we are. I'm going to attach that there just so that it hangs. And I love this little rosary kind of feel to it. Again, it is just, it's cool to be able to have um, bits and pieces of stuff. It doesn't have, you don't have to go out and buy like a lot of stuff to make a chunky charm. And the neat thing, I'm just going to give it some round randomness. So I'm just trimming off some of the stuff here from this chain that was from this necklace. I'm assuming it was a necklace at one time or another. And now it's going to be a chunky charm. And I like it. All right. I'm going to save some of this because this, I love this little... Like I said, it's like a rosary one. Let's get the glasses out, right? All right. Flat nose. Let's pull some of this out. And slip it off. And bring it back there we go so we are left with this here that could be used for something entirely different and this is what we have here and I'm probably going to adjust this here um, to go on the other side so it's kind of like married meat but I love look at that I didn't have to do a whole lot so you can go through your drawer of stuff I'm not going to call it junk. I'm going to call it our drawer of random uniqueness. Um, and pull out random stuff. You don't have to go out and buy stuff. Just pull out random stuff. If you did have some chain, chain links like these, and I purchased this at Joann's, 50% plus 25, not a bad deal. I don't remember. I think I paid like a dollar something after the sale. Um, all you do is cut the sizes that you want. As you can see, I have three here and I've randomly sized them. Um, one's, they're all different sizes. So one's larger than the other, longer than the other. Um, so you want to do that. Um, and then take your jump ring and you're going to slide it through and you'll add your lobster claw in there. And you never want to pray or pry um, your ring and I'm going to do it this way close it up and I'm going to show you what I mean so we got them all in there beautifully like that I love the randomness I'm going to grab this little cheap one here so here's my jump ring. You never want to take your pl your pliers and just open up the legs like that. No, that's a no-no because you weaken the, uh, the wire. What you do want to do is grab your flat nose pliers and you want to kind of do a front and back kind of twist. So one on each side, you just want to pull like that, pull it towards you or away from you either way but you never want to you never want to take that jump ring and open it up like that no that'll weaken it you want to take the jump ring and slightly move it to the back or to the front however you want to do it but either front or back but never left and right okay all right 
Now if you want to add beads, all you do is find random beads. I'm going to go ahead and grab some of this here and restrand it. Why not, right? So let's restrand this. And I just have some eye pins here that were laying around. And I can add two. Let's add... Let's see, what do we have? I went through picking up stuff that I had laid around here and stuff that Shadi had gifted me. And so between finding what has been gifted me, gifted to me and what I had here, I think I came to the conclusion that I had plenty to create a beautiful chunky charm and not sweat it, right? So I put two, I push it down like so. I take my wire cutter and I snip it just like that. I have like a finger width there, hold it in place and snip off, okay? That can go into trash. Then grab your round nose plier and you see it's not overlapping the wire. You don't want it like that. Can you see that wire? Can you see how it's overlapping? See that? You don't want that. You want it flushed with the plier, the round nose, so it's not sticking out or overlapping. And then you're gonna take and you're gonna push, turn away from you, round it around, okay? And then you'll get something that looks like that. And then you're gonna take your round nose, stick it back in, and now you're gonna twist it towards you and straighten out that neck a little and you'll get a hook. It looks like a little hook, right? Take your round nose, go back in, and then you're gonna straighten that up. I had taken a beading class years ago when Carla was little. We took we both took a beading class and we got into beading big time. And I used to be all over San Antonio. The kids were all little. I even taught my mom how to bead. That's one thing we did together is beading. Um, that's the one craft that she, aside from quilting, see, and you get that. So, let me put it on my skin, you could probably see it better. See that? So that's one little bead. And we're gonna do that with all little random beads to include these because I thought, you know what? They're peeling. It gives it character. Why am I, I'm not gonna throw that away. Heck no, that is perfect. Again, size of my finger hold it in place, grab my wire cutter, snip it, push everything down, hold it like that, away from me, all the way, so I can't go anymore, I have a hook, put it back in, push it towards me and round that neck up, and then throw it back in and straighten out the neck. So you're going to keep doing that until you have something that looks like that. Okay? So just keep doing that. Keep, keep taking, you can take spacers and whatever you have. I had little, a little bag of little spacers that I saw. And I thought, you know what, we're going to use that. Because I don't like to throw away stuff, you know. Oh, I found this um, that was gifted to me by Shadi. Um, and I thought, it's got a butterfly. And it's poetic spirit. And so, we're going to attach this as well. Because I love butterflies. I have this thing about butterflies. And whenever I see butterflies... Look at that, it's already perfect, right? So I can just attach it. I wanna attach another jump ring. A jump ring on top of a jump ring, I think will be nice. In my, in my case, I think it would. Gives it to the uniqueness of everything. The uniqueness craziness of May. Then, 
these, what we're going to do is I'm going to take the smaller jump rings and these little beads. I'm going to take my chain and I'm just going to randomly put some of these here and there wherever I you want to start with the lighter stuff and then work with the heavier stuff and just kind of work it around like so and randomly put things in there so I'm just going to do that <clears throat> I'll be back I'm going to try to beat some of these up and then we'll attach it to our little chain here okay <laughs> 